Well, hey everybody. I've been studying up on this thing called the Tristan chord. So the Tristan chord goes like this. That's my jazz interpretation of it anyway. So it's like a flat six, half diminished. <coughs> but the way Wagner spells it is with a sharp six and a sharp two, which got me thinking. It's like, oh, where have I seen that before? Oh, yeah. The sixth mode of Hungarian minor, of which you can voice uh, Italian augmented six, a German augmented six, or a French augmented six. All right, so this is my opinion, okay? I love thinking in terms of tonality modes and stuff like that to digest functional harmony. And this is one of those things. After studying uh, the modes of Hungarian minor, uh, I got to that point. So Hungarian minor is this. It's a harmonic minor with a sharp four. It's all you may have seen it uh, the, the E, the you know the fifth mode as the parent scale, which is uh, called a double harmonic major. It's the Dick Dale scale. So A, um, I like to think of A as the parent scale. Yeah. It's, it's also called double harmonic minor, but Hungarian minor is a term that I, I've heard a little bit more, maybe. So, you know, that stuff. You know. So it's got like this tension to the five, you know. Very good metal scale too. Anyway, um, so if you go to the sixth mode, the sixth mode is called Lydian sharp two sharp six. I like that name because it tells you everything about the scale in one fell swoop. You know, it's Lydian. It's got a major with a sharp four, sharp two, and sharp six are the uh, sort of adaptations of normal Lydian. You know? So let me t tell you about the the structure of Italian, German, French augmented six chords. And also I'm gonna include the Tristan chord in that same family because it comes from the, could come from the same scale. All right, so it, the Italian augmented six has the root and the third and the sharp six, which is enharmonically the same as a flat seven. So in this case, it did spell the D sharp and it resolves up to E and this F resolves down to E. So you got this like contrary motion, chromatic contrary motion that has a really nice resolution. So you got, and then you can either resolve it to A minor or A major, it doesn't matter. You know, sometimes, um, The German version has the same as the Italian, but the addition of the fifth as well. So you've got root third, fifth, and flat seven or sharp six. So you still have that chromatic contrary motion. So you've got this, this, this F going down to E and this D sharp going up to E. So play this F seven and then go to A minor over E and then you can go to it. it sounds it's nice right so I went F7 to a minor over E and then to E and then to a minor and uh, that's not super weird sounding it's totally normal all right on to the French okay the French one has the sharp four instead of the five so it's something like this. So, so you got now we've probably seen that a lot in jazz, actually. Um, 
like the flat six going to five. Very common in minor blues. So the classical uh, sort of theory, we can, we can learn a lot actually by going to study classical theory to see like how, how we can do the voice leading and and then the, the thing I'm adding to it from the from the jazz perspective is the the modal thought the modal theory which you, you don't get a whole lot in classical music theory class but you know some people do do that but it's more of a jazz like an improv method of learning is you learn modes and scales and stuff like that so um, I'm trying to combine forces of, of this uh, you know Italian French you know German which fits this Still fits. Now, if I if I do that to like the the blues progression, you know, like uh, now on to the Tristan chord. Okay, so the thing with the Tristan chord is it does this. of a half diminished but the way Wagner spells it is he spells it with the sharp sharp six and the sharp two which tells me like oh I can do that scale over it you know if you think of it like it still fits now he has it going up here which then turns it into a French augmented six chord but I kind of think like maybe we should include the Tristan chord as another augmented six chord like another chord in that family and then it got me thinking like well shoot this scale has a lot of chords in it and in fact it's probably got more easy to name chords in it than any other scale now you have to be think of it as a inharmonically equivalent like this sharp six is inharmonically equivalent as it sounds the same as a flat seven. And this sharp two is enharmonically equivalent to a minor third, as in it sounds the same as a minor third. Not spelled the same, but it sounds the same, right? In the equal temperament world. Okay, so let's look at that scale. One, sharp two, three, sharp four, five, sharp six, major seven. Now, if I play it one, three, five, you know, the triad, it's just a major triad. But I can actually substitute the major third for the sharp two, which is the same as a minor third. We get the minor, minor triad. I can substitute the sharp four instead of the five, and I get a diminished triad. And um, maybe I can go back to the major third as well and keep that flat five. You know, it's like a, it's like a major triad, with the sharp four. Um, now. I can do each one of those with the different kinds of sevens. So if I have the first one, the major triad, but add the major seven, we have a major seven chord. If I do the sharp six instead, as in the same as the flat seven, we get a dominant chord. I'll do the same with the minor, minor triad, minor with a major seven, minor with a flat seven, minor seven. You do the same with diminished. There's a diminished triad. There's a diminished major seven. There's a, there's a diminished with a flat seven. It's a half diminished. Uh, you can also kind of mix and match. What if I do this dominant with a sharp two? That's a, there's our Hendrix chord. Uh, what if I do this dominant with um, a sharp four instead of a five? There's our French augmented six chord, also known as a dominant seven sharp eleven. It's a lot, right? Anyway, so I like to call this scale the smart ass blue scale because I can just imagine some some kid in band class, you know, playing over a major seven. Teacher says, Hey kid, you're not making the changes. I'm like, yes I am. It works over a major seven, it works over a minor seven, it works over half diminished, it works over you know, it's like it works over everything. Everything in the real book. Let me just play this in. What if I do that? What if I do that? 
just to be a smart ass. Minor seven, dominant seven. That's it.